So I was challenged by one of you guys to face the heroes that I hate facing the most and use it as a deck to see how well can I do with it. The heroes that I hate facing is definitely the Rocketeer. You guys know how much I complain about facing the Rocketeer. The Mummy Armadillo combo are two heroes that I've been complaining about facing the most. Uh, as of recently because everybody's just using that combo and it hurts too much and I've been kind of you know between back and forth with the spell wing and the cannon master but for the sake of this video I'm going to be using the spell wing as another hero that I hate facing most. Can this deck somehow get me far in the run? Let's find out. My name is Tomb Mike and I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Alrighty, shout out to the person down here for recommending me this deck. Let's see how well can we do with a deck that, um, it doesn't seem like it has synergy, but of course the Mummy Armadillo, uh, Mummy Armadillo does have a little bit of synergy. We can try to bounce off, uh, the Rocketeer for damage and whatnot. Um, let's see how well can we do here. Let's, um, buff up the Rocketeer a little bit and enchant the Blaze here. There we go. Oh, we actually did not enchant, oh wait. Oh wait, we did enchant the blaze. We just removed the the enchantment from, for the for the armadillo. So the blaze is already almost dead, which is fantastic. And plus, my rocketeer has like five rockets or even more. I cannot even tell, which is freaking absurd. Let's we could you know just try to take out the rock uh, blaze right now. Heal up the spell wing. Let's heal up the spell wing here. There you go. And uh, Sally, we only hit the blaze, so not the greatest, and we didn't even get more actually we did put some echoes on the board which is fine um let's see if the rocketeer does stay alive here he should so if he does take out the armadillo the rocketeer goes next yep there you go so now we should be able to to take out the naga and the mummy right here easy peasy lemon squeezy because we have how much how much how many rockets i don't even know but we just did 426 damage Oh, the Naga is alive. Wow, the Naga is alive with 9 health. That's actually the most damage I've done in one turn, I believe. You know, the Goblin was the king, but I think that actually takes the, the throne right now. I'm pretty sure it does. Should we just do this? Yeah, we can go after the the Mice Panda here since the Naga won't be able to deal too much damage. Look at that. Plus against the Mice Panda hit the, hitting the Echo. We just took out the Mice Panda in one turn. Holy guacamole. Okay. So we just got to take out the Naga that literally has only 9 health. We should be fine here. We should be very, very fine here. So all we, we got to do is just get one hit. My units should survive this attack. He just hits the Rocketeer towards the fire. That's not going to do anything. So let's see if we can just you know push the Rocketeer towards the Naga. And that should be a GG's. Yep, there it is. GG's right there. Let's freaking go first victory, and it was very, very easy, not gonna lie. But with that being said, first win. Uh, let's see if we can go far with this. Let's continue on. Second match, let's see how well can we do against this person. Um, okay, zombie Naga combo, not bad, not bad. Rocketeer goes first, that's a horrible start, Sally, but also his Rocketeer goes first, which is honestly not bad for me. Can we push the Gargoyle towards the Mummy? That would be ideal. Yes, we do. So the, the the Gargoyle won't be able to heal up. We also enchanted the Rocketeer, which is honestly unnecessary. But the most important one was to enchant the Gargoyle, so the Gargoyle won't be able to heal up anymore. He will be hitting the Mummy, it seems like. And pushes the... Okay, so he did push the, um, the Rocketeer. Did a little bit of damage, so not bad on his behalf. Uh, what can we do here? Um, let's hit the, uh, hit, let's hit the spell wing to get some echoes on the board, hit the gargoyle. We also enchanted the naga, so a little bit more damage right there, bada bing bada boom. So look at that, yeah, we got, we, we, we got a decent amount of echoes that we can use for damage, so not bad. Naga does go next, my armadillo goes next, so let's see if we can do a bunch of damage right here. He only hits the rocketeer, that's fine with me, honestly. That's honestly fine with me. All right, Armadillo goes next. Can we hit? Yeah, we'll hit the the um. No, no, wait a second. I do not want to place Echo or use up Echoes. Let's just hit the Rocketeer. There, the, actually, the Rocketeer is taking damage. Let's freaking go! The Rocketeer took a whole bunch of damage right there. The Gargoyle is dead. The Rocketeer is alive with forty three health. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? All right. So now he's going to poison the Armadillo and the Rocketeer. I'm assuming. Yep. Yoki doke, that's fine. Let's Rocketeer. His Rocketeer only has two rockets. That's fine with me. 
Let's just, you know, hit the Rocketeer here. We should be able to hit the Zombie, hopefully. Yes, we do hit the Zombie. His Rocketeer should be... Oh my god, the Rocketeer is alive with two health. Are you kidding me, my dude? Alright, but at least he only has two Rockets. He's not going to be able to take me out. The Rocket... My Rocketeer should be able to take out his Naga unless my Rocketeer dies here. Which he might. Uh, is he? Nope, Rocketeer is still alive, so we shall be able to take out both of these guys. Bada bing, bada boom. And uh, all we gotta do now is just take out a zombie. The zombie thankfully doesn't do too much damage. He has a tanky hero that poisons. We should be fine in taking him out, obviously. So, and with my mummy going next, we should be able to... Oops, sorry about the notification. Let that go away. So we should be able... Oh, sadly, we won't be able to try to, you know, push the zombie towards the armadillo. We could try, but it's not. I don't think it's going to work out too well. We could try to do this, try to double hit. Maybe. We do, in fact, double hit right there, plus hit him with towards the spell wing. Oh my goodness, that was actually a, a nice amount of damage right there. That was over 200 damage right there. And all we gotta do now is just get one hit from the armadillo, and we should get this victory easy peasy, lemon squeezy. So, let's just wait for this turn to end. And all we gotta do now is just get one hit, and there you go. The bomb, we didn't even need the bomb. The fire, the bomb, the mummy is dealing so much damage to the zombie. It's practically overkill right there. And there you go, guys. We got our second win right here. And we're doing fantastic. Honestly, we are doing fantastic. Uh, two games, two wins. Let's go. Let's continue on. Alrighty. Let's see if we can win against this person who is using... Man, everybody's using the Naga, surprisingly, but this person has Enchantress. Oh, and the Mummy. I, I, I forgot he has Mummy. Okay, never mind. So the Mummy, not Mummy Naga combo, well played. He will hit the Spell Wing a decent amount. Very well played. Lots of damage towards the Spell Wing. Let's enchant the Vampire so he doesn't heal, since he does go next. I mean, he can always re-enchant himself with the Enchantress. So there you go with that, plus a little bit more damage right there. All right, so the Vampire cannot heal. That's great. Vampire cannot heal. He can always use the Enchantress to re-enchant, but I don't think he has a good angle for this. No, he doesn't. Okay. Okay. Uh, decent damage. Decent damage. Not bad. Uh, let's see if we can, uh, you know, hit the Spell Wing here. Hopefully a couple of times. Deal damage. Alright, his Vampire should be dead. There you go. The Vampire is dead. We don't need to worry about him anymore. However, he still has Mummy Naga combo. So we gotta worry about that. We got a bunch of Echoes on the board that we can work around with. My Mummy might die here. Yep, the Mummy is definitely dead. Mummy is definitely dead. So that's sad, obviously. Uh, we could... Um, should we go for the Rocketeer buff? Or should we deal damage to the Naga? I don't know what to do here. Uh, we'll buff up the rocket here. There you go. Alright. So, look at this. We have a bunch of Echoes on the board that we can definitely work around with. So, he is going for damage, which is very interesting. I would have buffed up the rock, uh, his mummy at least. We could look at this. We can actually hit all three of them thanks to the Echo down here. So, let's do that. Bada bing, bada boom. Not bad. His Enchantress is still alive. Are you kidding me? His Enchantress is alive with only 8 health, bro. Come on now. Alright, he, he will be taking out the Spell Wing. That's fine. Let's do... We can actually hit the Rocketeer. Bounce off the Rocketeer and then hit the Mummy. Hopefully the Mummy gets pushed Source of Fire for, for the kill. No, he... Oh, never mind. The Echo took him out. Alright, so there you go with that. Plus, we remove my enchantments. So the Naga won't be able to deal double damage. The Rocketeer goes next. He has five Rockets for some reason. So... All we gotta do now is just get one uh, one hit onto the Naga right here with the Rocketeer, and that is going to be GG's. He is going to hit the Armadillo towards the fire, not bad. All we gotta do now is just get a hit off right here. Bada bing, bada boom. And let's freaking go. Another win right there. Let's freaking go, guys. We're doing awesome right here. That's that's our third win. Um, we are a uh, yeah a quarter of a way there. Just need nine more wins to go to get to the max reward. Can we get there? Honestly, I don't know. Let's find out. And let's continue. Alrighty, can we win against this person? Hopefully this will be our fourth win facing against... Ooh, surprisingly, not the mummy. I keep... I, I I was facing mummies left and right. Thankfully, that is not the case here. Let's enchant the Paladin, Wraith, and Thunderpaws. Yes, we do. Not, not a bad start, honestly. Not a bad start. Alright, he'll probably remove the enchantment from the Wraith there. And deal a bunch of damage to my mummy and the armadillo. Alright, so yeah, this is going to hurt a little bit. But, 
we're still okay here. Kind of, sort of. Yeah, that, oh, yeah, that, that's going to hurt. That's going to hurt a lot. Okay, that, yeah, that's hurting. Calm down. Calm down! That was a lot of damage. Can we push the Paladin towards the Armadillo just to place a bond on him? That would be ideal. Let's do that. Yes, we do. Is the Armadillo, or sorry, the Paladin still alive? He is still alive, but thankfully the Wraith also did take the Bomb Blast right there. Paladin has one health, bro. Are you kidding me? He just goes for damage. My Armadillo died. I think the Mummy died as well. Yep, this is not good, obviously. Not good at all. This is horrible. This is horrible. I would like to take out this Paladin, honestly. What can we do here? We, I would like, I would like to also hit the wraith. So I think just you know shooting a snowball at them, it will take out you know the paladin, deal damage to the to the wraith right there. Yeah. All right, not bad, not a bad play. We took out this um, paladin, so he, so he won't be able to heal up even if he re-enchants everyone with a defensive buff from the paladin here, or sorry, from the blacksmith. He is going to go for the damage, hit pushing the spell wing towards the wraith. Not bad. Oh wow, that was actually a lot of damage right there. Not happy about that. This actually might be our first loss, ladies and gentlemen. Let's just do this. Put uh, play some echoes on the board. Uh, only one echo. Not 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 good. Not good. All he has to do is take out the spell wing, and he is going to win easily. Uh, he's going to place. Oh no, he's, he wants to go for damage here. No, now he's going to play. Oh, I don't know what he wants to do. He's he's trying to get a double hit. He is trying to get a double hit now, and thankfully he misses. I mean, he still did damage, but thankfully he missed a double hit right there. Um, we can definitely hit both of these guys. Not bad. Oh, but look at the position I gave him with the Wraith. Alright. Yeah, we're going to take a bunch of damage as well. Spellwing is going to die here. We are not going to win this one, ladies and gentlemen. We are not going to win this one. Unless we get a Miracle Shot off somehow, some way. And the Snowball is blocking me, so I won't be able to get a decent shot onto his units here. We can try to do this. We do hit the uh, the, 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 uh, the blacksmith and the wraith. We actually did take out the wraith, so not bad. All right, let's see what he's going to do here. He might give the the thunder pulse a defensive buff while you know placing some charges on the board. Not bad, not bad. He does deal, of course, a bit of damage right there. Let's do. Can we push the the thunder pulse towards the echo? That would be great. No, we don't. No, we don't. Rocketeer has so much, 161. The Thunderpaws can take out the Rocketeer in two hits. I'm just hoping that since the Rocketeer is super heavy... Never mind. Man, the Rocketeer is super heavy, but he was he managed to get a double hit right there. Sadly, that is going to be our first loss, but honestly, not, not, not bad. We can still go far with this. I just need to play better, of course. Try to concentrate, try to focus, and just keep on winning. Let's continue on. Alrighty, can we win against this person? What does he have? Mummy, Paladin, Gargoyle. Okay, so let's see if we can enchant the Gargoyle at least. Right now, we obviously cannot. Um, let's buff up the Rocketeer here, just to you know start things off. Buff up the Rocketeer, getting some Echoes on the board. We actually um, deal, did a little, just a smidge of damage on the, on, the, on the Blacksmith. Just a smidge, you know, just 29 damage, which is not bad. Alright, the, the, my Rocketeer has four rockets, so already off to a good start here. Mummy goes next. If we can enchant the Gargoyle, so that way he doesn't uh, heal up, that's going to be great. Can always use the Blacksmith to remove the enchantment. But um, he's just going to hit both of them. He used the... Oh no, he did lots of damage to the Mummy, dude. Alright, at least we can do this. Double hit the Assassin here. I don't think we're going to be able to hit the Gargoyle. Oh no, we actually did in fact hit the gargoyle right there. Plus, you know, we actually able to heal we were actually able to heal up the mummy a smidge. Keeping the mummy alive. The mummy has 99 health, so the, you know the mummy only had like you know 20 health when the assassin attacked him. Alright, so Rocketeer goes next. Rocketeer goes next. We oh he did take out my mummy, understood. Alright, let's see if we can take out this blacksmith. So that way he doesn't enchant anymore. Yep. That is going to be death. And if we push the blacksmith towards the armadillo, the armadillo can actually hit the assassin here. So right here should do the trick. Let's freaking go. So the assassin will take the bomb blast. Actually standing next to the gargoyle as well. That was fantastic play. A fantastic play. Alright. The assassin is still alive somehow with 13 health. 
he will be hitting the spell wing. Hitting the armadillo as well. Thankfully, the armadillo did not. Um, the armadillo did not get hit by the assassin's ability. Let's do this. Hopefully, this will be a double hit. Oh, yeah. That's a double hit. And that's near the assassin. No way. The assassin was not near enough. The gargoyle only has 33. The assassin has 13. We just need one hit on both of these guys. One hit. Even the Rocketeer can take him out, which is fantastic. So, he is going for that. Misses. Wow, he actually <laughs> missed the... What am I trying to say? He actually missed the Assassin to get to get a hit off. And there you go, we actually hit, hit the Assassin with the Steam. Took out the Gargoyle as well. That was a nice little double kill right there. Let's freaking go, guys. We lost the Mummy very quickly because of the Assassin. But thankfully, we didn't need the Mummy too much in order to win that match. Let's freaking go, guys. A third of a way there. Let's continue on. Alrighty, let's see who we're going to face this time. Mami Naga combo, of course, with Blacksmith. Um, let's do... We could always buff up the... Yeah, let's buff up the Rocketeer here, since the Rocketeer does go third. Let's see if this is a double you know, double hit right there, plus... Rock okay, the Rocketeer has five rockets. Already off to a fantastic start. Rocketeer has five rockets. Um, he is going to buff up the Paladin, that's fine. Oh no way, he's going to try to buff up everybody here. He I think he'll I think he will. Yep, there you go. He actually buffed up everyone. Plus look at this. Since my armadillo does go next, we can actually just place a bomb here. Heal up the uh, the armadillo here. Hopefully we can actually place a bomb on everybody. Oh my goodness gracious! Look at that damage. Holy he must be upset. Let's see if we can somehow place his units together. Uh not quite. Not quite. Uh, actually, this this could be a triple kill right here. Yep, that is going to be a triple kill. There you go. And there you go. That is a... Oh, wow. The Blacksmith actually survived with only 21 health. That... This should be a win for us already. This should be a win. All he has to do... He's just going to hit the, the mummy. That's fine. That's honestly fine. Let's just... Let's see if we can make the spell wing hit the mummy. Just for like 40 damage. Yeah, 46 damage. So not bad. Alright, so the blacksmith died. So, I mean, the mummy still has the defensive buff. So he can tank a little bit more damage. But, if we can somehow push the mummy towards the armadillo, then um, we'll place a bomb and deal a bunch of damage. Let's see what he's going to do here. Yeah, that's, that's fine. That's fine, honestly. Let's see if we can actually make the mummy hit the armadillo right, right there. I think that's the angle. Yes, it is. That should be death. Oh, yeah, that's definitely death. The armadillo somehow got a double hit right there. That was a lucky double hit. Plus the bomb blast. So pretty much an overkill right there. Let's freaking go, ladies and gentlemen. This is That's five wins and one loss. Let's freaking go, ladies and gentlemen. We're doing fantastic. Let's continue on. All right. Can this be our sixth victory? Victory. Can I speak? He does have spell wing. Champion. Interesting. Uh, Cultist, of course, Canamaster. Canamaster is a strong hero. Uh, he literally didn't do anything. Let's see if the runes will take attack. I think it will attack the... Oh, no. It actually didn't attack anyone. I'm f honestly perfectly fine with that. Um, Canamaster does go next. Can we just play some... Or buff up the Rocketeer there? Ooh, we actually did a little bit of damage to the Spellwing and the Cultist right there. Oh, the Spellwing is going to take a lot of damage. Plus, my Rocketeer has four Rockets. We can try to hit th the, you know, Cultist Champion and hopefully the Cannon Master. I don't think we're going to be able to hit the Cannon Master. I'm going to try anyways. Ugh, I might miss. Let's see. Oh, we got it. We got the hit off. We got the hit off. Let's freaking go. Oh, my goodness gracious. Look at how weak all of his units are, man. Look at how weak all of his units are. Um, Let's hit the Spell Wing. Towards the mummy. Let's see if we can if the mummy can get some more damage here. And it will hit the champion. Ooh, that's a triple kill. That is a triple kill. The champion sadly survived. It, we could have gotten the monster kill there easily. But um, hey, we got a triple kill there. We're here for the win, not to show off monster kills. So he's going to be able to use his ability right here. Pushes it. Pushing my units towards his cat. Thankfully, Spellwing and the and the Rocketeer missed the cat right there. And all we gotta do now is just get a, just get one hit right there. 
you know, the champion only survived with 40 health right there. We actually got a double hit somehow. I didn't even know how I got double hit right there. But let's freaking go, ladies and gentlemen. That's going to be six wins. Six freaking wins, ladies and gentlemen. Halfway there through the challenge. Can we get six more wins to get to the max reward? Let's find out and let's continue on. Alrighty, can this be our seventh victory? We're, we keep facing mummies, which is freaking absurd. Mummy Naga combo, mummy armadillo combo is just freaking absurd. He does have Jawsome, but not paired up with the Enchanter, so I'm not too worried about the Jawsome. However, he is using Archon. Archon can work, you know, really well with the Jawsome, especially if the Archon is near my troops. Alright, so he did a decent damage. For, oh my goodness, he pretty much enchanted everyone right there, so not bad on his behalf. Let's do... Let's hit the Rocketeer and the Mummy. And I th yes, we enchanted the Jossum at least. So the Jossum will take more damage right there. So not bad. Plus the Rocketeer has just one Rocket. I honestly thought we were going to have more Rockets right there. He will enchant the Armadillo here. So everybody will be enchanted with, you know, to not heal up. Or not being able to heal up. So very well played. Um, Let's see here. Mummy does go next. Let's... We could buff up the Rocketeer. We could buff up the Rocketeer. Yeah let's, yeah, let's buff up the Rocketeer there. There you go. So the Rocketeer has more Rockets. And, of okay. We remove the enchantment from the Rocketeer. So the Rocketeer can actually heal. Unless he hits the Rocketeer, of course. Which he might. And uh, with my Rocketeer, we can actually hit the Jossum and the Naga. Depending on where. Let's see if they're going to be close to, to each other. I think they will. That's a lot of damage, though. That was a lot of damage. Of course the snowball is blocking. We're going to have to do this. Hopefully we'll hit Archon plus Mummy here. And push the Archon towards the Armadillo. There you go. So the Armadillo should... Or, yeah. We, sh we did take out the Archon right there. The Mummy also died. Okay, not bad. Not bad. But with his Naga, all he has to do is just hit the Rocket here. And then the Jossum will be able to take out the Mummy. And maybe even the Spell Wing here. Yep, nice little double hit right there, plus snowball damage. Spellwing is thankfully still alive here. Um, wow. This is not good, obviously. Let's, you know, try to, you know, hit the armadillo here. We can remove the enchantment from the armadillo. Let's freaking go. Plus, we actually buffed up the rocket here once. Okay. Jossum does go next. Um, if we can remove the enchantment, that's fantastic. So that way the Naga won't be able to deal double, you know, double hits and whatnot. Or double damage, I should say. Alright, the Armadillo is dead. Yep, sadly the Armadillo died. Not good, obviously. But, um, let's see if we can remove the enchantment. Even though that's not gonna do, do too much, honestly. Let's do this. Let's see if we can get a double hit on the Naga right at this angle. And, uh, remove the enchantment. We did remove the enchantment and actually did a bunch of damage to the Naga, thankfully, because of the echo down there. We might be able to pull off an amazing comeback here. The Rocketeer has 95. He is going for the Spell Wing though. And he does manage to hit to double hit the Spell Wing right there. And look at this though. He actually places units together. So we can actually get a shot off with the Rocket right there. Plus the Snowball being there. We might be able to take out them too because of the Snowball right there. No way the Naga did not hit the Snowball. What? How did the Naga not hit the Snowball? Are you kidding me, dude? No way we just lost. Yeah, we're going to lose at that. He's going to play at that angle. <gasps> he missed! He missed! No freaking way, dude. Let's just shoot a snowball towards the Naga just to play it safe right there. No freaking way I won that the Rocketeer survived with only 27 health. He missed the double hit. No freaking way. I would be so mad right now. I would be incredibly mad. But I'm grateful that I got the 7th win right there. Let's freaking go, guys. We are definitely going far. We are already far in the run here. Let's see if we can continue on winning. 5 wins left to go. Let's find out. Let's continue on. Alrighty. Let's see if we can win against this person who has... Ooh, no mummies. I'm actually very surprised, not gonna lie. Um, We could go for damage. We could place Echoes on the board. Yeah, let's place some Echoes on the board here. Uh, Deal damage to his Cannon Master. Oh no, we actually did damage to... Ooh, we actually did damage to three of his units right there. Not bad. We did damage to three of his units, plus we placed some Echoes on the board. So not terrible. Um, Spellwing does go next. So he is going to hit my Armadillo and maybe even the, the Mummy here. 
Oh no, he has the Rocketeer, okay. Um, of course, that was a lot of damage, but we are still in the game here. We are still in the game. Uh, we won't be able... Actually, we could buff up the Rocketeer here. We might be able to. Maybe not. Let's see. Let's just do this. We actually do buff up the Rocketeer right there. Okay, honestly, not bad. That was a, actually a decent amount of damage. The Rocketeer has two rockets. And look at the positioning that they are in. If we shoot at the Cannon Master, we might be able to hit the Blaze and the Mice Bandit as well. So this should be a decent amount of damage right here. Taking out the Blaze for sure. Um, the Mice Bandit will survive maybe unless he, he gets hit towards the Mummy. And uh, I think the Cannon Master will stay alive unless we push her towards the Spell Wing. Uh, let's just do that. There you go. All right. That is that a triple kill? <laughs> it is a triple kill. Holy guacamole, guys. This should be yet again another victory. Um, the champion alone. Um, decent champion or decent hero, but, um, he did get, you know, nerfed harshly. So we are, we should be able to win this one easily. Let's see if we can get a double hit off here. Plus a third hit because the mummy stability and whatnot. So, let's do this. One, two. Gets hit towards his team. Mummy hits him again. Sadly, not towards his team. But the champion did survive with 39 health. Yeah. Yep, 39 health. But he surrendered. Let's freaking go, guys. We are two-thirds of a way there to getting to the max reward. Come on, guys. We definitely gotta get four more wins. We only have... Uh, we only lost once. This is fantastic. Let's continue on winning, please. Let's continue on. Alrighty, come on guys, getting a little bit nervous here. We need four more wins to get into the max reward. He is using Mummy Spell Wing, alright. He starts off with this Mummy, and I start off with the Rockets here. This is already a bad start for us. Plus he has Scarecrow and Jawsome to just push his heroes around and whatnot. So this is going to hurt quite a bit. Um, Alright, thank actually, thankfully it wasn't too much damage right there, thankfully. And sadly, you know, we start off with the rocket here. Here we can actually. Sadly, we cannot do much here. Sadly, we cannot do much. Let's do this. Let's see if we can make the mummy go towards someone. No, we don't. We just hit the the scarecrow for like 130, which is not bad. But you know, not the greatest damage. He is going to hit my armadillo. But yeah, the armadillo did take a bunch of damage right there. Sadly. All right. Oh, golly. Lots of damage. Lots of damage. Holy. Let's do this. Hit the Rocketeer as well, just to buff him up. Oh, we actually enchanted a whole bunch. Oh, we enchanted a whole bunch of heroes and bunch of damage going everywhere. Thank you, Mummy. That was an incredible play right there. Thank you. Thank you very much. He's going to be using the Scarecrow for damage. He does He does take out the Spell Wing. Well, very well played. He does take out the Spell Wing. Um, let's see, what can we do here? The armad My armadillo is already almost dead, which is not good. Let's enchant the armadillo. Hopefully, yeah, I mean the scarecrow. We'll hit the spell wing towards the rocketeer. His spell wing is dead, ladies and gentlemen. His spell wing is dead. My rocketeer does go next. I only have two rockets, so it's not going to be too much damage. He is going for my mummy, okay. Plus a rocketeer. My mummy is dead. Well played. My mummy died. Wow. Man, if the mummy would have survived, I would have maybe won. Maybe. Let's hit both of these guys. There you go. Burning the Jawsome. Yes, we do. We burnt the Jawsome in the mummy. Not bad. Um, but I don't think we're going to win this one, especially if he takes out my armadillo. He should take out my armadillo because the Jawsome is already going to deal damage to the Rocketeer no matter what happens. Unless he pushes the Jawsome another way, which it would be not a good idea. So let's see what he does here. No way, he's just not gonna make a play. Are you kidding me? You're not gonna make a play? Dude, you could win this one. What are you doing? All right, um, great. Let's hit the mummy right here. Hopefully this will be a double hit at this angle. Plus if you can buff up the Rocketeer a snitch, that would be great. Right here, there you go. Ooh! Triple hit to take out the mummy. All we gotta do now is the Jossam has 157 health. And my armadillo. Oh no, wait. Oh, he's going for he's going for the play. He is going for the play and he got it. Dude, no way. I thought he just left. Good game. I was getting a little bit too excited there, but he managed to get a good win right there. That is going to be our second loss. One life left to go. So far into this run, I just wanna win. 
Can we go farther, please? Let's continue on. All right. This is my final life. Hopefully, we don't lose here. Mummy, Jawsome. All right. Of course, it's a dangerous combo. Of course. Let's push the mummy towards, hopefully, somebody here. And buff up my Rocketeer right there. We do enchant his mummy. So, the mummy will get hit once again. Honestly, not bad. Not the greatest, but... It's okay. Okay damage right there. Plus, we got two Echoes on the board, so not bad. He is going to enchant my mummy. Buff up his mummy. My, yeah, his mummy. My mummy's dead. Yeah, my mummy is not going to survive that attack. Yoki do Bad start. But uh, my Rocketeer does go next. We should be able to hit three units here. Oh, I don't think we're going to be able to hit the three units right there. That's... I don't think so. We'll see. Yep, we missed the mummy. Even though he was supposed to get hit, we completely missed. All right. His Jossum goes next. My Armadillo goes next. So let's see if we can uh, place a bomb and remove the Mummy's en uh, enchantment right there. He is doing too much damage. He's going for the double hit on the Spell Wing here. Wow. Nice damage on the Armadillo right there. Thankfully, the Armadillo doesn't get too much or you know more damage right there. Let's see if we can get a double hit right here on the Mummy. Then hit the Cultist. Plus, the bomb should hit the, the Archon right there. So, not not a bad place. Plus, we actually healed up someone. I didn't see who, who we healed, but we did heal up someone right there. Spellwing goes next. Um, he's going to pull pull the Rocketeer, okay? Of course, the Armadillo was close enough for to the rune, so not bad. Or bad for me, honestly. Let's do this. Buff up the Rocketeer once again. The Rocketeer does have three Rockets. All right, so let's see who can we take out here. I'll probably just take out my armadillo so I can so I can stop buffing up the rocketeer. That is the key when you're facing rocketeers. The key is to take out the other units first before you go after the rocketeer. That's just my opinion. That's just me. If you guys have a better you know a better strategy to take out the rocketeer, let me know down in the comments below. I don't think we can hit the Jossum and the mummy down there because of the echoes. Yep, we cannot. We cannot. You know, yeah, we cannot. There's too many Echoes on the board. I want to take that chance. So I'm just going to just hit the Archon here. And we did remove the Enchantment from the from the Spell Wing right there. So not bad, but I think the Spell Wing is going to die here. This might be this might, this might might be the end of the run, ladies and gentlemen. I think this is the end of the run. And of course, the Rocketeer gets a hit off or gets hit from the, from the Archon right there. Sadly, the Rocketeer won't be able to get, you know, attack buffs anymore. Let's see if we can enchant the mummy right here. We do enchant the mummy. Oh, almost healing up the Rocketeer. That would have been funny if we would have healed up the Rocketeer. All, we all he has to do is just buff up his Jossum here. No, he's just going for damage right there. Of course, he pushes it towards... Okay, that's a loss. Yeah, that's a loss, man. That is a loss. Sadly, we that is going to be our third and final loss right there. It was a great run, guys. You have to you have to admit it was a great run. We got eight wins right there. The Rocketeer is only surviving with 15 health, which is freaking crazy. Um, he missed, but the Jossum will be able to pull him. And Jossum, thank you. All right. Sadly, that is going to be our loss right there. It was a good run, guys. You have to admit it was a very very good run overall right there. We got eight wins. We're using the deck that I hate to face, you know, you know, the Rocketeer, I hate facing him. Armadillo mummy combo is so incredibly annoying. And of course, the spell wing, I was between the spell wing and the Canamancer, but the, I think the spell wing is a much more dangerous hero to face, in my opinion, with because of all the echoes taking place on the board. 6,000 gold. Oh, we got some pirates, not bad. Berserkers, so okay. King, Frost Fox, um, Wizards, not bad. And Paladins, okay. Honestly, not a bad reward, of course. Like I said, we got eight wins right there. And that is going to be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please make sure to hit the like button down below and subscribe to the channel for more Smashing 4 videos. These are the four heroes that I hate facing. The Armadillo Mummy combo are together. So it is one combo, but I just hate facing both of them together, you know? If they're separate, then I'm kind of okay with that. But yeah, this is the, the, the heroes that I hate facing the most. If you guys... Um, hate facing certain heroes. Let me know down in the comments below who are they. And uh, with that being said, thank you so much for watching this video. And thanks again for your continued support. I will see you in the next one. Take care.